Well, Jim, that's about all I can tell you. I'm sorry there's not another security guard here to train you. I feel terrible about throwing you to the wolves, especially on your first night. It's all right. Sometimes that's the best way to learn. This way I won't pick up anybody else's bad habits. Well, thank God for that. The last guy I had, he had so many of those that I had to let him go. Chris, may I please have the security keys? Now, I know this is not the kind of security job that you're used to. The president's not here, and we don't have any movie stars running around. But it's a very important job, and even though it's only temporary, you came highly recommended. And it'll be about a week, maybe two at the most, and then we'll get somebody else, okay? It's all good. I can handle it. Great. Well, then I'm out of here. I'm really sorry. Go find some ice. No, no, it's fine. Really, don't worry about it. Really? Yeah, I'm sure there's a first aid kit somewhere in this hotel. Thanks. Yep. How is it? It's fine. I'll live. <laughs> Your first night on the job and you already have a boo-boo. <laughs> I hope you watch over the president with more caution. Yeah, well, I got paid for that. <laughs> wow, the president. <laughs> That's big. So I guess you're used to being lied to, huh? Like I said, I got paid. Well, you were lied to on this job, too. It happens. Yeah, well, it shouldn't. The last security guard wasn't fired. You see, Ben was an alcoholic. One night, while he was hungover, he was making his 3 a.m. rounds when he noticed a small boy floating face down in the pool. He raced down to the pool and was about to unlock the door when he realized he hadn't even locked it in the first place. In an attempt to hide his blunder and save his job, he was going to hide the boy's body in the hotel's basement. But when he headed down that way, he was detoured by the sight of a few hotel guests in the hallway. He somehow wound up on the fourth floor, and then he ducked into a housekeeping closet. It was there that he sent him down the laundry chute to the basement. His plan was to wait until the maintenance crew came there at 7 a.m. the next morning and open the pool. That's when he'd take the boy's body and put it back in the pool, and let the maintenance guys take the rat for it. However, his plan was railroaded by one of the hotel's housekeepers. She came in early that morning and found the body, wrapped in the blanket, buried at the bottom of the laundry chute. A few days later, he confessed in a farewell letter, and then he shot himself. Wow, that's too bad. I'm sure the boss had her reasons for not telling me the truth, though. Well, now you know it. I'm sure I didn't need to.
glory. Yeah, thanks to your damn ghost stories and this bump on my head, I'm starting to see things. Who's there? Come on out, kid. I know you've been in the pool. I can smell the chlorine. You wanted a towel, all you had to do was ask for one. It's your last chance. I'll leave you down here in a dark, scary basement. <laughs> 